Hey, it's Josh Lonson from The Verge, and I'm standing outside of this giant, strange-looking garage of ATAP, the secret of projects group within Google. Uh, they're doing a big keynote tomorrow, but they've somehow put everything out today, so we're going to take a look at what it is. Come with me. This is Project Jacquard. It's basically a bunch of sensors woven into fabrics, so you can say maybe have a shirt sleeve that controls your music. Basically some of the stuff that has been done in snowboarding badly. It seems like they kind of want to make it into clothing that we wear. So the kind of crazy thing that it's doing right now is it's tracking not just where my finger is on this fabric, is how hard I'm pressing too. So if I press lightly, it's just a little bit. Or I can go all the way. It also does a couple fingers at once. And if you look at this, it basically just looks like a piece of fabric that's been crossed over, basically with a rip stop. But it's a touch pad. Nuts. So here's a good example of what you could actually do with this. It's not just eye candy. Uh, this is basically a small strip of sensors woven into the fabric, and it recreates the entire control for your music. So I can go between tracks by swiping left or right. I can hit play just by tapping, or I can go up and down to adjust the volume. This is all this, the stuff you just do with the remote or on your phone, and imagine just having this on maybe your pants. So now I'm checking out something called Project Soli. They won't tell me anything about it today, but we're going to find out more about it tomorrow. It's basically a tiny little sensor that picks up movements, micro movements. Uh, they're pretty cagey on what you can do with it, but they're, the cool thing here is that you can actually cover up the sensor with a piece of paper, and it's still picking up my hand. I don't know what this data means, but it actually looks pretty cool. This is four stereoscopic cameras looped together, and I have complete control of them. It's stitching everything together in seemingly real time, and I'm using basically an Xbox controller, which is, I think, the only way to have this experience. So this rig is actually using four 6K Red Dragon Epic cameras to let me do all sorts of fun things to control who I'm focusing on. It's a, it's a terrifying amount of power. But as you can see, it's stitching the images together. And there's some weird stuff going on here. But all in all, it's really impressive. I want one of these for my house. Behind me are a bunch of set pieces for Project Aura. Uh, what ATAP is probably best known for, it's a modular smartphone, you can swap parts out, it's really cool. It's also not here. Uh, presumably, Google will be showing it off tomorrow, they have a keynote, uh, but it's really what I was most looking forward to. And that's kind of like this garage in general. We've seen a lot of things that are cool and interesting and maybe will be something one day, but they're not quite here yet, and that's kind of what makes it one of the coolest parts of Google.